Bitcoin ETFs, Ethereum ETFs, and now internet computer ETFs. Here's an article over at ETFexpress.com where they have an article titled The ETF Analyst Takes a Closer Look at the Internet Computer Protocol Token ETP. And they go on to talk about the fact that there is an ETF, which is a type of ETP. And to cut straight to it, it says that this is put out or it's listed on the extra exchange under the ticker 1VIC. And if we look over here, this is, as far as I can tell, this is that ETF that they are referring to. Valour Internet Computer ICP is an exchange traded product that tracks the price of ICP, the native token used to power the internet computer ecosystem. The internet computer is a blockchain project that aims to create a decentralized and scalable internet infrastructure by allowing smart contracts to run directly on its network. Blah, blah. We know all that. But this is an, an ETF for internet computer. Unfortunately, it's not an ETF in a much larger market like the US market. But with time, hopefully that will change. After all, it looks to me like Grayscale already has ETFs for things like Mana Decentraland, Chainlink, obviously there's Bitcoin, here's Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Filecoin, Litecoin, Solana, Stellar Lumens. So I think it's probably just a matter of time before we see an internet computer ETF hit the US market. I think that it is a very real possibility. There just needs to be a bit more widespread interest. And after all, if they're going to offer this ETF out of this exchange under the ticker of 1VIC, then I'm not sure if this is Dutch or German or what. I'm, I'm not uh, too well versed on that and I'm just too lazy to go look it up again. But the point is that ETFs for crypto is becoming more and more of a thing. And I'm looking forward to that personally. And in this article, you know, they talk about there are 204 projects currently on ICP. This is dated, you know, obviously this is from March 8th, 2024. So it's already a couple months old. And they mention things like DML, which probably isn't the greatest thing to name as to my understanding, DML has some delivery issues. Examples include DML, and then there's DSCVR, a decentralized social media platform. So they give two two whole examples there of dApps on internet computer. And of course, they mention the reverse gas model and yada, yada, yada. So yeah, look, you know, nobody can predict the future, right? There's no such thing as Nostradamus or, or any other soothsayer or fortune teller. That's all nonsense. I mean, you look at Warren Buffett, you know, he says Bitcoin's rat poison squared. You, you listen to any of the Bitcoin maxis right? And they don't care what it is. It's crap. It's not Bitcoin. It's crap. Gold, crap. Silver, crap. Stocks, crap. Internet computer, crap. Solana, crap. Anything but Bitcoin, crap. Litecoin, a fork of Bitcoin, crap. Everything's crap, as according to the Bitcoin maxis. So the Bitcoin maxis, they do have a lot of interesting points and you can learn from them when it comes to Bitcoin. However, they have blinders on, you know, just like Warren Buffett has blinders on. And I, and I think that to Warren's defense, he also has said you should only invest in what you understand. Warren Buffett, in my opinion, clearly doesn't understand cryptocurrency. And yes, people, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. If you're not already aware of this somehow, the reason that it's called cryptocurrency is because it uses cryptography. It uses public key and a private key, which go hand in hand together to form cryptography. Bitcoin does this. It's a cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin maxis, they like to say there's Bitcoin and then there's crypto. And no, there's cryptocurrency. Bitcoin is considered a commodity. It's not the same thing as most other cryptos in the sense that Bitcoin has zero utility and it's just a store of value. And it's the first successful digital cryptocurrency. It's not the first digital currency. And I'm not even sure that it's the first digital cryptocurrency. I'll need to go back and look into that again. I have a couple times in the past. I just don't have the details fresh in my mind. I might make a video just talking about that briefly at some other time. But for right now,
right now, this is just all about internet computer ETFs exist out there in the world, but they're not in any really major markets yet that I'm aware of. Hopefully that's going to change.